Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Paul here at Radio Free Hammer Hall. Today, we're talking about starting a Night Haunt army. Now, this is one of the sort of sleeper factions, so to speak, in Age of Sigmar. They are one of the most popular armies that just don't pop up at tournaments a whole lot, so they sort of lie under the radar a little bit. But they are extremely popular, a large part because of their aesthetics, and they're relatively low complexity, so they're very friendly to new players. Their mechanics are pretty strong, but they're fair, uh, so they're not doing anything that is really outlandish and uh, creating bad play experiences. Uh, their best trick overall, it's not really even one trick, it's sort of a series of tricks, is their extremely high mobility. They're one of the most mobile armies in the game, which is definitely a very cool uh, sort of ability that they have there. Uh, they have army-wide ethereal, meaning they ignore all armor modifiers, so your save is what you get all the time. And overall, they're a solid mid-tier army. They're going to probably win you games about as often as you lose, and it's going to be fun and fair and just have a generally good time. So let's get into what it takes to put together a Night Haunt army. First up, we got our Spooky Chain Rasp Horde. They're your cheap battle line unit. They are uh, the guys that are just buying a quantity of bodies for the most part. Uh, they do have their offensive role as well, but they are really good for holding objectives and... Um, Screening, chaffing, all of those sorts of things, they're a really great unit for that. Your Grimgrast Reapers, they're a relatively quick unit, and they're more on the hammer side. Now, these guys have gotten their points hit pretty hard because of how they play in Legions of Nagash. Uh, you are allowed to use them in Legions of Nagash as well, and uh, they're definitely better in Legions of Nagash, um, which uh, has been problematic for their points in Night Haunt. Um, but overall, they're really a, a points tweak away from being... Well, they probably already are one of the best units in the book, but they're uh, you know, really getting the whole faction to a higher level, I think, is uh, just a few points tweaks away for Grim Gas Reapers. Hex Race, these guys are super fast moving. They're cavalry. They do extra mortal wounds... Uh, on charges and pylons, they're a great hammer unit. They definitely deliver a lot for you. Um, there's also a good battalion with uh, them as well that boosts them even further. Uh, and then we have spirit hosts. They are the most underwhelming of the battle line units. Um, I, you're hardly ever going to see these getting played. They're just really not worth their points. Um, even more so than not worth their points. I mean, they really just need a new war scroll. I don't know what's going on with those guys, but they definitely need something fresh there. So these are your battle line choices. You know, your chain rasp hordes, your grim gas reapers, your hex wraiths, and to a lesser extent, your spirit hosts. So let's take a look over at heroes. All right, so this is not a comprehensive list of all of the heroes in Night Haunt. These are just really the most notable ones. I do want to note that there are a couple of other heroes that are not included on this list that are required for battalions, so definitely look out for those when you're constructing your army and uh, your collection. If you're looking for a particular battalion, make sure that you have the necessary heroes that are not necessarily on this list. First up, we have the Knight of Shrouds. This is the foot version of the Knight of Shrouds, and he has a nice uh, command ability that gives him a plus one to hit bubble around him. The Knight of Shrouds on Ethereal Steed similarly has a plus one attack command ability. Uh, also very strong. Your Guardian of Souls, he is kind of your basic wizard. Um, and he can restore models to units, and he has a plus one to wound aura around him as well. Kurdros uh, Valentian? I am terrible with some of these names. The Craven King. Uh, he can steal command points from your opponent on a five up every time they earn a command point. 
And Reichnor, the Grim Hailer, he is a wizard and he can potentially get up to plus three to cast. So that plus three to cast is also very good for doing things like casting Chronomantic Cogs and some other endless spells that are on the pricier side. He is very strong for doing that. And he's really good for getting out your lore spells very reliably. Other units we've got here. Um, all of these are sort of like a points tweak away from being good on any particular day. Um, and, you know, we can see these potentially popping up. I know I've seen Blade Geists pop up quite a bit. Uh, they have the ability to retreat and charge, and they're plus one attack on the charge. Your Mirmorn Banshees, they're uh, a strong anti-magic unit. And the Dread Scythe Hadrians, they are also really punchy on the offense. Uh, and I believe they can retreat and charge as well, if I'm not mistaken. I don't, they didn't write that down, but I think that they can also do that. Um, all of these do also pop up in lists fairly often. Uh, some more than others, their uh, prices would certainly have a big impact on that. If they got some points drops, these could certainly become much better. Or if other things in the army got points increases, they would then be comparatively better than they used to be. And then finally, the Black Coach. The coolest model in all of... Uh, this model range, for sure, by far, one of the coolest models in the game. Uh, it's expensive uh, in terms of dollars. I think it's like $125, something like that, US. Uh, it's really, it's a melee unit. It's very fast, which is good. Um, it's not very offensive in terms of the amount of damage output that it has. Um, it does have this like level up mechanic that can give you some offensive buffs. Um, but for the type of model that it is, typically you'd expect it to be a hero and give out some off other buffs to your other units around it, but it doesn't really do that. Um, it'd be nice if it was a hero, it would be extra nice if it was a wizard, uh, but it is not those things. It is a cool centerpiece model that is fast and a little bit punchy, and really people play with it because it's cool, and there's a battalion that it's in that is pretty good, so... Overall, um, you know, one of those things that I generally wouldn't advise new players to pick up just on the basis of it being a little bit of a challenge to paint because it's a very complex model and uh, I generally don't advise new players to pick up the like big centerpiece models because they're expensive and, um, you know, not necessarily going to be something that they're going to get maximum use out of until they get more experienced at the game but the black coach is definitely cool if you like it buy it for sure uh this is a very rule of cool army if you like the models buy the models and um there's not too many ways you can go wrong in this army everything is pretty solid so it's a really nice army for new players it's easy to pick up and it's easy to paint it, overall, it's just fun and fair and, you know, a great introduction to the game. Uh, very similar to Stormcast Eternals in that way, in, including some of their mechanics are sort of like the dark mirror of Stormcast Eternals. So I really like them a lot. Um, preparing this video actually kind of made me want a Night Haunt army. I don't currently own one, but um, yeah, they seem like they're just a good fun fair time. That is it for now, guys. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed what you have seen. Subscribe for more videos like this and other introductory videos into Age of Sigmar. Hit the, the notification bell to get alerts when our new videos go up. And we do have a Patreon down below in the description if you'd care to support the channel and help us produce better content. And... We do have links to our Facebook and Twitter if you'd like to join the conversation further after the video. Thanks again, guys. We'll talk to you all later.